Hey guys, it's the Fetid Bubble here, and this is How to Find the Climbing Axe and the Rusty Axe. The original How to Find the Climbing Axe video is still fairly accurate, but now that they put the Rusty Axe next to it, I figured I'd remake it, maybe make it a little shorter too. We're in Cave 5, and uh, this time around I'm going to be using the little stick here with the cloth, cloth wrapped around it. Just because uh, I think Nathan was suggesting it's a pretty good weapon, so we're trying it out. Head towards the lanterns. There are going to be two mutants in here. <laughs> You're going to see a skull lantern down the hallway. Go ahead and follow that. Bust down this wall. Stick is highly effective. It's not. Don't don't use the stick. I was joking. <laughs> I rewrapped it for the next cannibal. He drops down from the ceiling. If you go too fast, he might be behind you. Alright, now look for the next hanging lantern. There are really good little notifiers on where things are. Head down the rope. There is a um, light, flashlight, around this area if you haven't had one already. And then watch out, there's a hole behind you. Go down the next rope. Head down this way. Uh, you're gonna see another lantern and you see all these just really point you in the direction of things so, so whenever you're lost look for hanging lanterns. I picked up a rebreather if you don't have one go ahead and pick one up. Equip it so you can stay under the water for longer. Once you get through the tunnel you'll get into this really pretty area screaming babies on your right with a whole bunch of sticks and flares. To my knowledge nothing else is up there at the moment. Yeah, unnecessary to go over there. Just keep on heading straight. It's going to get really tight, so you're going to have to go underwater. And then you go right back up after this. Head straight. Now there's some flares and stuff around here, some rocks. If you don't have anything, go ahead and put nearby objects into the slot. I got some rocks. When you come back, you can take them out. So don't worry about losing them. Um, just don't put a weapon in there. All right, now you can see a number of tents and some interesting scene on the right. Go into the first tent on the left that's open. There you're gonna find a map and a climbing ax. And if you go on over here, you're going to find the Rusty Axe and a pretty little picture of, uh, I think they're called Virginias. Now I like to show the way out because it looks a little different and it's easy to get lost. So head back through the doors, back under the water. You're going to shortly go under and as soon as you can, go back up and you're going to be in the main room. Keep on heading straight, of course, and then when you get down that hallway, staying on the right hand, right hand side, you're going to go through this tunnel again, pop back up. This gets a little bit easy to get lost. Right? Again, be careful about falling off. So you're going to want to go right and then straight. Uh, it might be a little bit easy to get lost in here, but if you can see that skull lantern in that position like you were when you were first arriving, you know it's the right direction. And then head up this path here. You're almost out. 
If you keep on heading straight, keeping that lantern on your left, but not turning right drastically, you can actually see a rope that goes up so you can leave a little bit earlier. Or just keep on heading out to the cave. It's pretty straightforward after this. You can see the light at the end of the tunnel. And that's how you find the rusty axe and the climbing axe. I hope that helped, and everybody has a great day. Take care.